Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You don't have to be Your friends are here. Maybe you can see me. There, I see me now. Do you see me, Internet? I hope to see you someday because you're all so far away. But your friends are here for another Thursday night of nonsense that we all enjoy. So hopefully, uh, I believe we are streaming live now on Facebook Live. And this is our first themed mini-sode. We've been doing mini-sodes where they're kind of chat-based episodes. And tonight where it's all around the topic of cryptids. And I am Davis Banta, and I'm joined by my compatriots, Mr. Daniel Ruiz. Hi, everybody. Daniel, how are you doing tonight? Oh, I am, I am ready to rep the cryptid life, man. Excellent. We're going to be making cases for various cryptids that we all know and love. Yeah, personally. I'm all about that crypt life. That's what that means, I'm sure. I'm also joined by Carrie Brody. In a minute, she will nope, join nope, us. Nope, I'm here. Hello. <laughs> yeah, hey. The spirit of Carrie Brody. Whoa, it's me. Hi. She speaks. she speaks from the darkness. She speaks. She looks. She acts. She, she loves. She lurks. People. <laughs> <laughs> Live, love, lurk. That's my uh, when I am um, never and eventually, which is a word I just made up. A uh, suburban mom. That is my uh, weird text font wall art. Live, love, lurk. Hashtag it, folks. We're also joined by Lizzie Prindle. Hi, hello. Oh, hey. you they joined at the exact same time visually. There they are. Lizzie, you've got <laughs> cryptids, or We're you got some team. lizards. We're you the got same a very person. Vibrant, yeah. Very vibrant background. I, I, I like it. You've got some fauna and flora behind you there we go oh, eight, eight, uh, there we go yeah oh, there you go oh, okay don't get gross with it Sorry. uh also mr jacob ellis Whoa. 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 it's a cheer from the audience we would have heard Hi. is live from the woods <laughs> somewhere jacob have you seen any cryptids in person while you have been out in the woods uh i you know it's it's, it's hard to tell because if, isn't it don't you have to well, I, I'm going to go ahead and say yes right away. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. You know, we like to say, you know, we all like to yes and. Yes. And that's how rumors mm -hmm. of cryptids exist. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes and, and Bigfoot. And. Yes and. And uh, joining us on the Piana, tickling the ivories and making us all sound better is Mr. Max Bennett Parker. Hey. 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 Yes. hey. 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 <laughs> Much uh, PA. I'm playing piano over here. Davis, yeah. what 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 are we talking about? One, uh, one more time. Say the thing again. The theme of tonight's chat-based episode is cryptids. Oh, now. spooky. All right. Indeed. Now, the uh in case you're maybe less aware of the definition of a cryptid on uh online. <laughs> the, the definition of such a creature is that it is an animal that has been claimed to exist but never proven to exist uh. now contrary mm -hmm. to popular belief cryptids do not have to be supernatural mythical or even all that strange but uh, an easy one is like a bigfoot a yeti some of those any critter that people claim exists uh but we haven't found a live one or any evidence that is scientifically agreed upon. Uh, that's a cryptid. And we've got, we've all been looking some up and uh, tallying our favorites. Let us know if you're into cryptids at all and care <laughs> at all about this topic in the comments below. So if you I mean, not... if you're just here for us, that's okay too. Let oh. us know that. 
I, I will let you know that we do have some people already writing in with some of their favorite cryptids. Oh, we yeah. yeah, we do. Yeah. That is going to say. Stuff. April with the Mothman and Jersey Devil is a close second. And we got Gail with the <clears throat> Jack of Quail Elope. Which, uh, Jack of Quail Elope. Oh, I've never he heard of that one. The artist rendition of a Jack of Quail Elope. Can't see background. Yeah. Uh, oh, another layer of mystery. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Ah, the oh. jack of quail elope. Is that a banana? Jack of elope, yeah. Is that? It is a banana. It does look like a banana. Yeah, it does yes, exactly yes. a banana. Yeah. Huh. Indeed. Okay. Wow. So uh, we're gonna. So we're just gonna be hashing that out. Okay. So what we do as your friends is we intersperse like live improv sketch shows with these kind of uh, chat-based things. And please uh, engage with us in the comments. I'm glad we've already got a few. Um, yeah, we're, we're getting even more. Excellent. We're trying to what we're trying to do is build engagement and grow our brand. Yes, so. exactly <laughs> for that. Yeah, we like to use terminology like that. Um, and uh, I had a scent. I had a point to my sense when. I, oh yes. Um, this is silliness. We all know. Um, we do it because it makes us feel better. Hopefully, it's fun <laughs> for you guys. Um, but we also uh, these are free shows. But we do take donations uh, via Venmo to just at your friends, one word, lowercase, you can donate anything to that. And we are also on Eventbrite, um, which if there is, uh, there is a, on the event that I made for this uh, episode uh, in the Your Friends events, uh, you can go there and it says here, buy a ticket. And that just means it's all donation. So you don't have- You can to have your pet crow drop off shiny things, mm -hmm. but- You can but it might be easier to do it digitally. And this is a way, so that it's like you buy a ticket for any normal show, just use your card or anything you want, um, but you contribute anything you want. Um, and we are donating to, we are going to donate a portion of the proceeds to uh, a, a charitable source for, we're going to start doing that for an entire month, the same source. Um, and I was about to ask Carrie the, def the exact name of that source, but I can also, uh, dig it up because I do have it. Uh, this entire month, we will be uh, donating a portion of our pro proceeds to support crisis relief in Lebanon. So uh, anything, if you do enjoy this, um, you can donate via getting a uh, ticket over Eventbrite or to our Venmo, uh, your friends, one word, and uh, we will be donating to support crisis relief in Lebanon. And that's a charity relief that goes to several sources in Lebanon that are uh, vetted by legitimate sources so they will get to uh, the relief that uh, is appropriate. So uh, we hope we get a few donations. Um, we also have a gift, a donation matching service. So your initial donation will be matched. Um, so anything you give, you get a dollar, it will be matched by like to a dollar by this other source. So uh, if you do that, that's great. Um, but we're going to talk a little bit about like Guys, how into cryptids are you really? Me, is, is, uh, us, yeah, yeah. You guys, I'm I'm into it. I just tossed this theme out. I love cryptids, but I, well, I, knew, I knew nothing about cryptids um, okay. before this. Nothing. No, I hadn't. No, not at all. Okay, so you're I mean, <laughs> other than late night stoner binge watches of the mm -hmm. History Channel, I don't know anything about cryptids. However. I am extremely passionate about mermaids for personal reasons, and mm. I believe that they are cryptids. So there will be a debate yes. on this. Some we of us disagree. On this. Mm -hmm. votes, Some of us are uh, stupid. <laughs> put your okay. votes into the comments below when we get oh, to that yeah. point. Yeah. It's a mermaid, mermaid or a cryptid or. Now we are talking. You're about. a cryptid now. Carrie is back, and her audio is doubling, and uh, it's yay. You know, yay Zoom. Yeah, Zoom. Zoom is encrypted. Zoom. <laughs> just so, uh, every, just so everyone knows, uh, to be to like, we want total. Um, uh, uh, we want to be totally transparent about the process here. We will be. You will be voting in the comments, and we'll be tallying the votes. But the votes um, will ultimately mean nothing because I'll be deciding. Max is the arbiter. Yeah. Max it is was... our Sweden. Yeah, and he decides. Well, uh, I don't think that's. I don't know that that's. Either of those are one hundred percent correct, but uh, you know what, guys? I think Listen, I'll be sweet. 
You can, care. although Sweden actually doesn't rule on anything for the rest of it. That's what you <laughs> so, think. No, but Davis. you get a bunch of you get a bunch Sweden of gold. Is, gold. Sweden yeah. is famously neutral about. Uh, <laughs> is it? Uh, it's <laughs> yeah. yeah, like no positions, no, no positions, positions at on no any level. Real quick, uh, more cryptid favorites. We got Robert with the Jersey Devil or the Chupacabra, nice. and Perryessa with Nessie. Nessie. Oh, Parisa. Nessie is a classic. Parisa, okay. Yeah. Parisa, yes. Yeah. Hey, Parisa. Hey, Parisa. Hey, Parisa. Hey, Parisa. Got, we got awesome. some great classic. Hi, Parisa. No, 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 with a P. Not hi to anybody else. Only <laughs> no, Parisa. Yeah. Only yeah. Parisa. Oh, yeah, you Teresa. You have to earn it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think Teresa's my stepmom. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Teresa. That's my mom. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, what? Okay, folks. I don't know what happened, <laughs> but to even it out, hello to all of you. Thanks for being here. Uh, to get Such us in the mood of cryptids, uh, I'm going to share a sketch that has been uh, donate. Donate. Can you donate a sketch? <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. If you're poor enough, you can. All right. You guys. They didn't charge us for it. That's you all guys. sketches. Yeah. The sketch was donated. <laughs> Not how it was, not how we talk about it until now, but now that's how we phrase it. It's all live, baby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and forever by, saved uh, on the internet. Our friends, Nate Marodi and uh, and Tracy Barrow. Uh, we've got a couple from them. Uh, thanks, Nacy and uh, Nacy and Tracy. Nacy and Tracy, my favorite, my favorite people. Guys. I may not be the guy to be managing all of these right now. Oh, I just boy. want you to remember this, uh, Max, when we start debating whether certain cryptos are real or not. Hey, <laughs> that's a good point, Davis. You might not. I be... will screen share my research. <laughs> all right. Trade is, is my, my favorite, favorite cryptid. Oh, right. and Tracy is in the chat saying that Nate will speak to you about this. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Ooh. that's not what I meant. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Anyway. Uh, gonna behold nature the final frontier for decades it has been home to the most gentle of the medium-sized ape-like giants the big feet hi my name is amateur cryptozoologist edgar hump and I am an amateur cryptozoologist. I went to Milwaukee State University. Uh, I went to a college near Milwaukee. Today, I'd like to talk to you about Big Feet. First, I'd like to give you some history about the Big Feet. Big Feet first came to America in the 1930s on the underside of shipping containers from Nepal. Big Feet first had their major break in the public eye in the now infamous Patterson Zapruder film. Next, I'd like to tell you some facts about Big Feet. Big Feet's main source of calcium is blue cheese. All big feet are naturalized citizens of the United Kingdom and are therefore subject to property tax. <laughs> big feet wear size 12 shoes. Big feet can talk to animals, but not their parents. Bigfoot <laughs> mating calls have been described as Dave Matthews like. Big feet are attracted to the scent of protein powder and have been known to follow it for up to 35 kilometers. Bigfoot ghosts have been known to weigh up to three tons. Big Feet <laughs> lost their right to vote in the 1964 Civil Rights Act. <laughs> Carol, will you just let me explain? Expl yes, I would love you to explain why there are 80 cases of protein powder in my kitchen You don't right now. understand, it was for science. I don't give a shit about science. I give a shit about our life savings, God damn it. <laughs> The Canadian government is offering a reward of 68,000 Canadian dollars for proof of the existence of Bigfoot. That could really refill a savings account, Carol. 
<laughs> Thank you, Edgar Hump. <laughs> I love the. I love the very the, informative. The parents. The parents. That's my favorite line. Uh, That's my favorite line from that. Is big feet can talk to animals, but not their parents. The parents. <laughs> That's so excellent. So clearly, <laughs> science is obsessed with cryptids, guys. Mm. I, want I want to know, to know more, more about, about Carol. Carol. <laughs> is, Car- <laughs> is, is Carol a is Carol a cryptid? Um, is Carrie, she a cryptid? You're still doubling, Carrie. Yeah, Carrie, your voice is uh, still doubling on the it's audio. It's very on theme, but it's a little yeah, it's unnerving. But uh, but you should just take control and go, but talk slower, like you're gone. It is because I. I'm a cryptid. Oh. I knew it. Yeah. There we are. You so, uh, scoop. scoop. We've uh, gotten some of our audience's favorite cryptids in the comments, and uh, definitely, I think we're going to hear more about a couple of them. But uh, who wants to go first? Do you guys have a favorite cryptid? Yeah. Yeah, Jacob. Now you're a newcomer to the cryptids. I am a newcomer to this to this, this whole thing. Yeah. So I mean, what? I'm curious. There's there's flying cryptids, there's mm-hmm. uh, ground based cryptids, there's t- aquatic underground, aquatic cryptids, underground cryptids. What what biome did you go with? You know, I didn't know anything about underground crypt- cryptids. Um, they sound pretty punk, and <laughs> like I'd probably be into it. Um, they're hardcore. Yeah, they're, they're yeah, you know, they're like giant like uh, blood sucking worms and like snakes and stuff like that. Oh, I see. Yeah. No, I, didn't, I, I I was mostly looking into like the lake monsters mm-hmm. and um, cats and primates. In the show Cats? In the show Cats. That's an independent thing. I don't know why I mm-hmm. just wanted to yeah. throw that in there. Um, so did I, you, you guys... settle on one? Did you Were you able to settle on one that kind of was like it, it did it for you whatever yeah. reason? Yeah, that would be um, the skunk ape. Ah. Oh, oh yes. yeah. The skunk also, ape. they also there's there are other names like the swamp cabbage man and right, <laughs> like right. the the Florida Bigfoot. Um, and so here I'll show you the I'll show you the picture that I drew. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, Davis, do you want to maybe uh, a spotlight? Um, yes, that's a good idea. I'm gonna give you the floor here if I can figure out All how right. to do that. Bam. We got a close up on mm-hmm. Jacob. Let's um, see that artist rendition. This is the closest thing that we could figure out to what exactly the skunk ate. Oh <laughs> background. You gotta turn off the background. Yeah. Oh wait no actually that's okay. Okay. Yeah, that's close yeah. yeah. Uh, oh. oh it's gone. All right background. Oh. Just like the real skunk ape. Yeah, just it's like there and it's gone. It's there and it's <laughs> gone. <laughs> exactly. Bam so what about the go. skunk ape drew drew your uh attention. It's very They're, playful looking. It, it, you know, as you could see by its playful oh. eyes. Good there, Daniel. Good. <laughs> good uh, it, it just looks like it could. It just wants to have a good time. It's just. Yeah. It's just trying to. It's just trying band. to dance, oh. and and steal some fishermen's uh, catches. You know. Now, now, correct me if I'm wrong. Was, was skunk ape? Was that a misnomer? Was it actually supposed to be funk ape? You know, you you throw a disco ball above this character, and he's obviously dancing a checkered floor, mm-hmm. right? Polyester uh, suit. Yeah. The 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 funky skunk ape. So, so I, I weirdly, weirdly know, know something, something about, about the skunk, skunk ape. ape. Okay. Contribute. Yeah. Uh, originally, originally, they, they thought, thought it was a giant, giant sloth ape, hmm. and, and so almost more. <laughs> Amazing that in the existence of a cryptid is the existence of a tale that would have been passed down to us by the humanoid precursors to Homo sapiens sapiens who would have existed at the same time as the giant sloth on which they think this cryptid might have been based. Huh. Wow. Wow. Compelling compelling stuff, Ghost of Carrie. That is... (laughs) Uh, all right. Who else has got their favorite cryptids? I can go, or a couple other folks can go. Uh, Daniel, man. Daniel, I'm gonna. Oh, oh, you, you, oh, you want to start this now? I'm curious. Okay. Here comes the controversy. Right. Um, I mean, just by looking at me, I think you can figure out what my favorite cryptid is. Now I know Hollywood has come 
and spun its yarn about this cryptid. But I, I'm not talking about what Hollywood has done to it. I'm talking about the actual beast itself that has been reported uh, as soon as 1999. Sightings have been reported in the United States of what we call the werewolf. <laughs> Sightings as of 1999. I say not a cryptid. In fact, mm. our expert that we had on Bigfoot went to Wisconsin University in Wisconsin where the sightings are. Do you, yeah, but do you know his feelings on it? Or is it just that he went there? He, he went, he was, it, it might have been what uh, sparked his interest in searching for Bigfoot because people mm. refer to the beast. As possibly a canine like ape figure. We will have hmm. to get Edgar Hump's feelings on this at a later date. Uh, but yeah, I would make the case again. I, I agree, not a cryptid. That is a person, that is at best like a curse or a medical condition. If you're talking, uh, no, no, if you're talking about the Hollywood, the if myth, I'm talking, talking about, about a man that turns into a wolf, you're talking about a werewolf. werewolf, you're talking about a wolf creature. I'm talking about a wolf creature. Okay. Wolf. <gasps> Difference between wolf man and werewolf. I see. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you a werewolf is a person experiencing werewolfitude. We right. like to use person first language. And the wolf man, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, so you're making the case. Your favorite is a not a lycanthrope in that anyone that turns into this during phases of uh, the moon or anything, but just a continuously existing wolf creature, bipedal, at times, wolf creature. Yes. All right, and okay. it was in sightings in Wisconsin. Yeah, it's yeah. actually famously known as the Beast of Bray Road. The Beast of Bray Road. All right, we got one vote for the Beast of Bray Road, and we got... <laughs> And we got skunk ape. We got a question from Andy Malcolm. Does the Florida oh. ape, skunk ape, I guess, engage in outlandish and foolhardy activities like the proverbial Florida man? Jacob, do you have any insight into the antics of the skunk ape? The antics of the skunk ape, well, it, it, it uh, follows around fishermen uh, near the coast and uh, other parts because, uh, you know, the Everglades are in Florida. The, okay, here's the, here's the thing about this. Um, it, it describes, uh, I'm just gonna open up the tab here. Okay, describes <laughs> reports of the skunk ape uh, were particularly common in the 60s and 70s, blah, 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 of a hairy ape-like creature, which ran up right on two legs in suburban neighborhoods, which smelled incredibly, and it smelled putrid, but it was in Florida. <laughs> it just must've been a fucking guy. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, come on this is just some fucking guy it was in my neighborhood it smelled like shit it was like a guy but it was like dark and hairy and so like, like is someone, this like, like on on meth just walking around oh just yeah so is is that the reason this like uh strung a chord with you is that you were you were like you were you're like clearly this is some guy and this is people using <laughs> the excuse of a creature to excuse their night light their late night antics i like the idea that there is a particular guy who is getting a lot of shit for being the smelliest guy in town but really it is the skunk ape and he's really just like trash and like this dude's life because he always goes through his like backyard so everybody thinks it's always coming from his house yeah yeah I mean, if that's true, then I become a skunk skunk ape every time I get a cold. Well, I think we all got a little bit of skunk ape, a skunk ape in all of us, right? We all, are, yeah. are you all saying, a little skunk ape. That's sometimes. beautiful, Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> are you <laughs> saying that they blame the skunk ape? What was, what was that? Are you saying that they blame the skunk ape? Like, I, I think I'm so smelly because I'm... Cause checks I'm out. Yeah. Checks out. Ape. Folks, if skunk you ape. had... To make if you had like a weird quality or a hobby or <laughs> antics, what monster would you use? Would you go, ah, what monster would you create or blame for what was just you? Let All us right. know in the comments below. Now I want I want to touch on this real quick in the comments actually. Uh, Andy gave us his favorite cryptid and uh, I feel we might disagree on whether this is a cryptid or not. The succubus mm. uh, being a demonic origin i would say um, not a cryptid I, yeah. 
I, I, I not would, a cryptid. I, I would tend to lean that way because it just yeah, it sounds more like a variety of demon. Which would um supernatural camp. Yeah, a little t- mm. more towards the supernatural. Uh <laughs> this may segue into yeah, what any yeah, more observations or counter arguments? Is anybody in support of the succubus as a cryptid? Uh, no, but I, I don't I'd like know to see Andy Andy's it. argument. Uh, if you could write it out in the comments. Yeah, it might you might suck. <laughs> Yeah, so just uh, let us know that is a demon that uh, sustains her energy by, uh, like, l- in- inciting lustful dreams Sucking in men, I think is well, the, a, the classic it's definition. It's a female oh. demon. It's yes. a female demon that, um, yes. Gotcha. So that is the activity. Yeah, so that's the classic definition. Um, yeah, the male counterpart is known as a incubus. Mm-hmm. Right, a male-based demon. I I would argue that neither are cryptids, and there aren't lots of stories. Generally, a case could be made, I think, if there are many, like, w- weird fringe uh, stories of, like, I had a sighting of this creature. I saw the skunk ape. I saw the the wolfman of Bray Road. It starts In that to- case, kind of myth. Incubus. Incubus might be a... You saw uh, the band in the band? Well, band? yeah, I think I saw Brandon Boyd at a gas station once, but I could have just I was been gonna say, fumes. I was going to say the demon Incubus, I would say, is not a cryptid. Brandon Boyd, the singer from Incubus, uh, you can make a strong argument that he is not Oh, is he the one that has that like, really elvish looking skin? Hot. He kind of looks enough. like an alien. Um, Hot. Oh, then not cryptid. Mm. All right. We think not cryptid. All right, mm. we'll see where this goes. Aliens, yeah. We we on this show, we find supernatural things that don't have to live by the laws of nature would be <laughs> not cryptid and also aliens because they're not terrestrial of this earth. I, I think, do we agree on that? Yeah, I, yeah, I would focus more on terrestrial. Were you about to, carry? did you have a favorite cryptid and you were about to bring an artist's depiction? Yes. Yes, I'm going to, let us turn the floor then to Carrie for her favorite cryptid and her artist's depiction. So I didn't understand the assignment because I have ADHD. So uh, I drew three cute cryptids, but then I only drew one scary cryptid. So I'm narrowing it down from these two to my favorite cryptid in both cute and terrifying form. That's cute. The lop-eared jackalope. And this is the Scary jackalope. And uh, yeah, the, j- <laughs> the jackalope is my favorite cryptid because, you know, I don't know that they don't exist. I have uh, met people who own stuffed jackalopes who uh, don't know where or if they came from two things being stitched together. Um, and I think that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. So, uh, yeah, I think that people are faking jackalopes because the jackalope really exists. Also, it's cute. And I can't really see a reason why natural selection would preclude a rabbit from growing antlers other than, again, I can't think of a reason. The so, exists. So are deers just, are deers just, rabbits with with antlers no so if you look at things like if you look at things like the kangaroo mouse okay i think that's what it's called yes it looks like a cross between a rabbit a deer and um not really a mouse it just looks like a cross between a rabbit doesn't even look like a mouse no, not really. Also, if you have ever seen an image or in real life, a clip springer or a Hreesbach, they are antelopes that are about this big and they are tiny. And I could totally uh, I imagine to them uh, feeding off of the same things as a rabbit. It's got also, a natural, you think it could have a natural place in the ecology. It could. When you consider that jackrabbits and like rabbit rabbits are not as related as one would think. Okay. Oh, and I need to own one of those club springer things. Yeah. We have a, a comment from also a source that I want to pitch a question to. Oh. Tracy Barrow says, what is your opinion on 
Bunnicorns, Carrie DeWitt Brody. Before you address that real quick, I, Tracy, being a taxidermist, which some would say is the primary source of documented jackalopes. She's do, my pre she's do, my personal taxidermist right. as well. Oh. What is your thoughts? Could there be a real jackalope that did not have to be created or is it mainly just a created creature? Let us know your thoughts and Carrie, your thoughts on the bunnicorn. Here are my thoughts on bunnicorns. I'm gonna spotlight you again. <laughs> this, there you go. You know, bunnicorns, you'd think that they're cute. And I don't really agree with the concept of an adorable bunnicorn. However, a rabbit born with a single ear fused together that has hardened in time with giant teeth in the front that can never ever stop growing and they must hit against bone in order to, yeah, no, I'm into it. You're, you're, Bunicorns, you're creepier than bunicorns you think. Or you, sorry, repeat your, I will not talk over you being a bad narrator. You go, finish. Oh, I'm just hey, saying that, like, somebody? yeah, obviously. Can we all talk over each you, other? If you're, a, if you're subscribing to the Lisa Frank school of bunnicorns, no way. But if you think uh -huh. about how they legitimately could exist based on natural selection, then, well, hmm. I Darwinism. I like the Lisa Frank version better. Then, there you go. I mean, I like the Lisa Frank version of Tiger King better, but. That's true. Meth is real. Meth is so Frank We may not believe in all these cryptids, but we all believe in meth. I think that's a yeah. conclusion we've come to. to uh, Tracy confirm. Like the old song says. Yeah. We may not believe in cryptids, but we all believe in meth. Oh my God! Is Lisa Frank rip off Akira Toriyama's bunny corn design from the original Dragon Quest games? <laughs> Let us know, Daniel. <laughs> yeah, <it's> Daniel. <laughs> Those games came out in the '80s. Did this Lisa Frank depiction come out before that? Yes. Okay. Well then. All right. The debate well, that settles that settles that. Yeah. Teach yeah. the con teach right. teach the controversy. I all say. Right. <laughs> uh, Tracy also confirms uh, it's all real, but we're not supposed to talk about it. I'll get in trouble. Oh. So, they are. That's another vote in favor of these jackalopes. Uh, again, we're at the half hour mark. Uh, this is all very. I was trying to share this. Um, okay. This is all very silly. We hope you're enjoying it. Uh, we really do like Davis, cryptid. I'm taking this excruciatingly yes. seriously. So Good. I wish that you would stop saying that this is silly. Yeah. To me, right, mermaids right. are not a joke, Davis. And with right. that, Lizzie. With that, Lizzie, I do want to briefly remind people that... Uh, you can donate uh, by picking up, I left an Eventbrite link in the comments so you can purchase a ticket for any price and we will be donating uh, proceeds of that to uh, have relief. What, what is the source, um, Carrie, do you remember? I just- So uh, it is sure. crisis support for Lebanon. Yeah, support and crisis relief in Lebanon. A legitimate thing that has been vetted by my company's employee resource group consisting of people who are Lebanese and I really hate to bring the mood down, but they had a pretty big tragedy and some of that money will go to relieving that. Yeah, that will be for the entire month of uh, August. So at any point, we'll keep mentioning it. It's no pressure um, to donate like today or anything. We'll be around. So anything we make, we'll be donating them. Uh, proceeds to that as well, but um, Lizzie, and you on, seem on, to have. <clears throat> yes, I was going to say, and on this more serious topic, we are selling art, and this will be going up, as yes. well as mm -hmm. uh, I believe some other people's depictions yes. of their cryptids. Uh, so also true. They're, I, they, I would they're like going to go like hotcakes. Mm -hmm. I would like to again interject and say just that we In are used moment. to improving. Mm -hmm. We are used to improving about jokes serious things but we make jokes of it we understand that this is not a situation to make light of which is why 
not easy to be on the spot. But if you'd like more information, we will have a post about it on our Facebook page tomorrow. Return to cryptids. Excellent. So whenever you need someone to make an awkward situation funny, you go on me. And with that, speaking of which, Lizzie. Yeah, so mermaids. Okay. All right, all I right. have loved mermaids since I literally my nanny can confirm this that from age two to three, I watched The Little Mermaid every single day at lunchtime. Fun fact, anyways. And that sparked my interest in mermaids. Um, a lot of people think mermaids are a lot like this. My I love him, clearly. Uh, however, that's, that's your standard mermaid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> however, science suggests that the actual mermaid is similar to this. Some some would argue that um, a mermaid would actually be larger in size with a tail more similar to um, a manatee, uh, which is probably why they are confused and thought to be manatees often when they are still mermaids. Um, And then I have exhibit, what exhibit number? Are we saying it's more like a humanoid anglerfish? Um, so it's more like, it's like, so they have, they, they, so, okay. The documentary that everyone says, oh, it isn't true. That's just because the Navy wants you to think that. Anyway, this documentary. Um, Lizzie, we don't want to be taken off Facebook for spreading conspiracy theories. <laughs> keep it, keep <laughs> this on a, a sorry, steady I'm line sorry. of thought. I'm, I didn't, I didn't mean that. I'm just kidding. Um, this is my drawing by the, oh, wait, you can't see her best part. Wait a minute. There, there we there go. We are. Yes, we have, we have confirmed that she does have boobs. Gotcha. Yes. Um, this design will, of course, be available on a shirt. Uh, of course, as all her designs will be. <laughs> um, if you want to see this here, if you want to see. I'm you very don't mess original. <laughs> yes, it's, it's a little faint, but anyway. Um, yes, what was I talking about? Oh, yes, mermaids. Mm-hmm. Um, so... This is actually uh, allegedly real footage of. Yeah, that's not a mermaid. <laughs> of a mermaid. Deep sea. Uh, and um, anyway, so I have several examples of sightings throughout history that have been confirmed by multiple accounts and sources from so sources with like more than one people or people mm-hmm. going like yes, hey exactly. i saw that mermaid yep. and someone else going that's right he saw that mermaid yep. or i saw that mermaid too okay so from the beginning oh boy oh, no. the logbook <laughs> of blackbeard an english pirate records that he instructed his crew on several voyages to steer away from charted waters which he called enchanted for fear of merfolk or mermaids, which Blackbeard himself and members of his crew reported seeing. These sightings were often recounted and shared by sailors and pirates who believed that mermaids brought bad luck and would bewitch them into giving up their gold and drag them to the bottom of the sea. Also, to uh, Columbus was sailing off the coast of Hispaniola in 1493, Columbus reported seeing three female forms which, quote, rose high out of the water but were not as beautiful as they are represented. So basically, (laughs) you know, some ugly ass hoes with tails jumped out of the water. Anyway, and then cut to two sightings were reported in Canada near Vancouver and Victoria one from sometime between 1870 and one from 1890 and the other in 1967 which then brings us one how many more of these do we have <laughs> as many as I need all no, right I'm gonna two okay more, two more mm, okay do you 2004. Need more? <laughs> can we do I'm one more saying. one okay fine in August of 2009, 
after dozens of people reported seeing a mermaid leaping out of the water and doing aerial tricks, the Israeli coastal <laughs> town of Kiryat Yam offers a $1 million reward for proof of its existence. That's, That's a good true. one. I like that. All right. So the other, It's not that the others were bad, but I do like nice wrapping up with a modern day and with an impetus for capturing or providing evidence for said mermaid from a government. Yep. Do Interesting. I, I guess I don't have time to talk about um, the ape, the water ape theory. Uh, probably <laughs> not as much on here, <laughs> but that is... Sounds like a water different ape is real. Look it, it up. Interesting. So we've got sightings in a variety of places mm -hmm. around the world. I'm serious. I'm like with Max. Sight We're serious about this shit. Mm -hmm. this is sightings not from so among Lizzie, you can Lizzie, you, you can you can go to Lizzie's blog where yes. she's got many many Her TikTok. Look look at the look at the archive. She's got many months worth. Of look the, at the uh, tapes. tapes. Let's check the tapes. All check right. Check the TikTok. Everybody. Oh, your case. Mermaids are they cryptids? They're half person, like half fish in some ish way, depending okay. on the definition. I would actually argue that they are not cryptids because mm. they have been scientifically proven by okay. scientists nope. to exist. This, this nope, we're going to walk that back. <laughs> well, Max will be the judge. <laughs> Max you're, is the judge. Wait a minute. Lissy, you're, hang on a second. Your, your, your favorite cryptid is not even a cryptid? Well, I'm just, I'm appeased. I'm, I'm going with the general, I know the truth, okay? But I'm appeasing everyone by fall, I'm agreeing oh. that mm. they are cryptids. Mm. A flawed case, Lizzie, a flawed You're case. Flopping, yes. Lizzie. A passionate okay. case, but a flawed it's one. A cryptid that is backed by science, but technically that science is still an hypothesis because of shenanigans that I'm not allowed to talk about, so. Mm, interesting. Max, now Max, as a matter of procedure, are you going to rule on the validity of these at the end or when you see fit? Oh, I think uh, at the end, yes. At the end, Max will uh, be our judge. It'll be a I, summary I, I judgment. I didn't show my, my uh, image of the beast of Bray Road. Oh, yeah, give it to us. Oh, yes, we, we relied on your background. I'm gonna, let me spotlight you. Boom. Yeah, me, uh... See this beast of Bray Road His in the artistic depiction. Oh, very nice. Oh, yeah. Wow, he's yeah. handsome. Yeah, I see. Oh, this. Cool. Yeah, very good. Very yeah. filled. Long red filled. eyes. Nice. Mm. Right. Yeah. It's compelling. A compelling case. A compelling All case. Right. A compelling six pack. I mean, do you want to hear some of the the, the sightings that people had at Bray Road? And mm. we're I'm already at seven forty-five. Your so. time, Daniel, has passed. Yes, I'm afraid. I didn't know we were giving our cases already. That's... Well, your closing arguments have passed. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we're already testing the audience's patience. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, I will make my case for my favorite cryptid, which would be one that has been mentioned in the comments, the Jersey Devil. I feel like now, that falls closer into demon camp. I will admit this, that it does veer on this. Now, the classic tale of the Jersey Devil, it, it appears. So I will ad admit it veers on the uh, case of like the demonic or supernatural, yet it does appear on almost every list of cryptids, probably because it's got a sort of bestial depiction and is people tell legends about it like attacking people in the Pine Barrens of New Jersey. Hmm. So it has the, the, the sort of atmosphere of a cryptid, the You've tall tail stuff. Oh, I am? Okay, what? now you're back, you're back. You want to sound oh, good. It's probably some as glitch. you were saying something. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, but yeah, so it has the reputation as a cryptid being like a wild animal that looks, I'm going to try to see if I can do this. I'm, well, I'll just, maybe I'll just, it looks a little something like this. Oh, oh not that, oh. not that, not that. <laughs> ah, you see the Jersey, what? God damn it, background. God damn it. I have to hold wow. it. Yes, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I see that it. That is terrible. Jersey devil. That matches some of the depictions I've seen of the Jersey devil. I'll give you that. Yes, exactly. That will be on a t-shirt. It's truly bone chilling. <laughs> So I actually have, may I try to make my case for why this is my favorite? Not okay. I thought you were going to say you actually have a Jersey devil with you. I have a Jersey yeah. of some sort. I, counselor, I would appreciate it if you would produce an actual Jersey devil. An actual Jersey devil. Why? All right. This is why uh -oh. it's my favorite. This is why it's my favorite. Okay. Oh. This is not a case for its existence, but the case for it being my favorite cryptid, perhaps the best cryptid. Point one, 
It's combination of bestial features, non-human-like, the horse of like a head with gnashing teeth, the body of sort of a lion-like furry body, a tail of like a lizard-like curling quality, and uh, hands that are claws and wings. That's, that's an interesting cryptid with a lot of contradicting features. I'm sorry, you said hands that are claws no, and wings? Claws. So it, its it hands has are wings. both no, claws and- It has and, wings oh, as has well wings. as having claws. Okay. Thank you for the clarification. So it's an interesting looking cryptid in descriptions. And the basic legend goes, here we get into some of the history. Do cut me off if I'm going long. I'm going to try to sum up what's interesting in an efficient manner because this is really cool shit. The basic story, go if you look up Wikipedia for Jersey Devil, they're like, in 1735 in the Pine Barrens of New Jersey, Mother Leeds, a witch, had a mass amount of children, and on the birth of her 13th child, she cried out, oh, let this one be a devil. And she gave birth to the Jersey Devil, and it made like a lot of squawking sounds and then went out the window and then like hunted people around Jersey for years and years. But then Why you get into the history. Well, there's a number of things. In fact, Mother Leeds is not a specific person in the history of this. The Leeds family, the reason this is my favorite cryptid is the history where based on research, it stems from the Leeds family, which were an early family that came to America that joined the Quakers. But this guy, Daniel Leeds, was into mysticism and got kicked out by the Quakers because mm -hmm. he was a little too weird for them. And then he was like attacking the Quakers and, uh, and like these guys are, you know, in literature. He formed his own almanac and would be and would publish attack literature against the Quakers and other people. The Leeds family also started a, uh, they sided with the crown in the Revolutionary War. And he was one of the advisors nice. to a guy, I have the name, there's a guy that uh, Lord Cornberry in New Jersey was <laughs> like a, bro a real name. Lord but Cornberry. he was one of the guys in Jersey that supported the king and they didn't like him and Leeds was on his advisory council. So they started to tell stories of the Leeds devil. But really mm. that was political literature where they're just like this guy like conjures the devil and sides with the crown. Daniel Leeds sucks. He's the Leeds devil. That's basically all it meant. And then Leeds' son, Titan Leeds, published an almanac. I Almanacs were a thing that... <laughs> People used to like plan out their harvest. The, the science is not out on that yet. Where yeah, is it? But the they would like a thing. They would like plan out. Yeah, sure. But they were also used to like plan out harvests and stuff. And in fact, the most famous almanac publisher is Benjamin Franklin, mm -hmm. a founding father himself. Because who, they make sense. Yeah, but he made his own almanac and he started taking shots at uh, the younger leads, the son of Daniel leads, Titan leads. Titan had the most uh, popular almanac at the time. And then Counselor, Ben I Franklin, must, uh, ah, they're relevant. It will be relevant. Titan Get Lee. Get to it if you please, Counselor. Ben Franklin started putting little shots over at Titan Leeds to get like crossover energy. And he's like, his character, Poor Richard, he wrote, my friend Titan Leeds is going to die within a year. A year passed. Titan Leeds did not die. Titan Leeds was like, you're a dumb motherfucker, Benjamin Franklin. I didn't die. Your almanac is bullshit. And then Franklin's character, Poor Richards, was like, alas, my friend Titan Leeds did die. This is the ghost of Titan Leeds. What it's, does this have to do with the Jersey? Wait, I, 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 counselor, I, you're off. No, no, no. Let's, let's take it back a step because that would seriously. Over like, time, the Leeds wait. devil was first known as like the. The Jersey Devil was initially known as like the Leeds Devil, established by in the political literature regarding Daniel Leeds. At around 1905, the Leeds Devil was sort of like a phrase and like it was a, a, a little story that was known. But then this art, this little dime museum picked up on that and he was like, let's make a Jersey Devil. Let's say we have the Leeds Devil. And they called a guy, this is real. They got a guy from Albany who owned a kangaroo 
and they took it to this museum and they painted stripes on it and attached fake wings and charged people to come in and see this Leeds devil. And they had a kid behind a curtain with a nail who would like poke it and it would be like, Rawr! I'm a devil. Oh my God. And then eventually they would just be like, don't know we've not seen it. We've New York seen the devil in Jersey. Jersey. We've seen the Leeds devil in Jersey and it became the Jersey devil. There you go. <laughs> Propaganda creature into folklore creature. That's why it's my favorite. Now, Judge Max, I Parker, really... if I may say a few words. Can I... Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Also, yeah. I submit to you, this definitely does not exist. <laughs> I really like the idea of saying that someone has died and when they come back at you like, no, I'm alive, you're like, oh shit, it's their ghost. Exactly. Great. That's great. Uh, Propaganda, Judge... rifle, publishing rifleries, a kangaroo with stripes painted on it. <laughs> this is a fundamentally American story. Daniel, you may respond, but I, I urge you not to... Uh... Uh, filibuster the court as uh, I, I have. Uh, I have a, only a few things to say. Yes. Uh, I would. I would say that I, for one, I'm not a believer in the Jersey Devil, except for if it wasn't for the very fact that one of our own fan base members has heard the Jersey Devil. That's right. What? Andy oh, yes. Montes, to having personally heard the Jersey Devil with his girlfriend in Tenafly, New Jersey. What did mm. it sound like? This is unprecedented. Is this oh, person's I think, sorry, Bobby? I mean, there you go. Sorry. Hmm? I was hearing both of, I was hearing the fate. I try to look at the comments and then the stream popped up in my headphones with volume. So I was hearing like everybody at once. Sorry. Um, ah, so um, where is the, the Jersey Devil? So, so it is real. <laughs> I'm and going to say perfect. this thing about this member is that he has claimed, uh, I am not saying that he's lying by any means, but he has made several supernatural encounter claims. So I think that this one needs to be taken with a grain of salt until further analysis has been done. I gotta say, I lived with this man for two years and both of the only times I've ever experienced paranormal things, he was with me. So he's got something. He's got Are you something. Sure? Jacob, are you insinuating that he is cursed? Uh, possibly. I think. I, I think that he might be the ghost of the Jersey Devil. Is that why he has such good hair? <laughs> is that why Andy has such good hair? Is what do you think, guys? Jer- is Andy the Jersey Devil? Uh, he, Andy did respond to the sound of it. He said it was absolutely horrifying, high-pitched snarling, and moved with impossible speed. <laughs> wait, 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 whoa, 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 wait a minute. It, so you saw it? So now we're hearing it and we saw it. Well, he says he well, saw maybe it. Maybe you just heard it. He, yeah, he it says he heard it. it. He could have heard the, the, was he, the said he, heard of the, of the, okay. he says he personally heard it. Did not yeah. see it, heard it. So he heard uh, the But you can hear things moving. Okay, yeah. I see. Obviously I, 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 yeah. heard a rabid jackalope. <laughs> Obviously. True. So, and I will maintain well, that most sightings of the Jersey Devil were probably... Rabbit jackalopes. Ah, or land like for me. Crossover. I feel at this point I must uh, mm. take the spotlight uh, because, as far as I can tell, oh, let me, I'm the only have one. You done that? I'm the video. only one uh, here who's actually had an encounter with, yeah. my, with my favorite cryptid. My Max, favorite cryptid, cryptid. Is, is, of course, now I grew up in the wilds of Fresno, California. And <laughs> Woodward so Park. We have uh, a famed creature of legend that we call Woodley. I can't nope. see it. <laughs> we should go bridge in a pond. What? You're going to nope. have to turn out your background. We call it. My God, it looks it, like a bunch of trees. We call it. I tell you. Wendigo, man. The thing that we call this thing, boy, howdy, we call it. Would we? <laughs> <laughs> Compelling. Wow. Yes. Now you can see. I love him. Would we is is uh, similar similar uh, to the Jersey Devil, a conglomeration mm-hmm. of elements. Mm. Yes. Uh, he's got uh, a Labrador ear. Yes. And his other ear is more like a koala. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got, a, got a little foot at the end of his long nose. Mm-hmm. 
And he's got the uh, facial hair of the um, guy from I, Anthrax. I was going to ask if it was a necktie or, yes. Yeah. I thought and, that was um, a zipper. I thought he was wearing some kind of like hip athletic gear. Well, you were definitely wrong, Carrie. Mm, that'll, yeah. that'll count against you. I I'm afraid. am. Um, <laughs> now, he's known to live in the trees, as far as we can tell, but we know it's confusing because he's a continue. He doesn't have legs, he just has one big wheel. It's odd. Right. So it's odd. it's yeah. hard to know how he, gets, yeah. how he gets up in those trees. Now, Curious. my encounter, my encounter with Woodweed was uh, in, in, in our, um, in elementary school, we would often take uh, um, field trips to, to Woodward Park. And the big special thing there was that we could look at um, owl pellets. It was really exciting. Um, mm. And uh, I, sw and Woodweed's kind of a prankster. And so... Uh, <laughs> I saw, like, as I was a pro, we were walking around, we were looking for owl pellets, and I saw movement out of the corner of my eye, and I saw would we shuffle off from the bushes super fast, and he had left behind um, uh, an owl pellet, and I picked it up, and I opened it up. Now, usually an owl pellet, you, you open it up, and it's got, like, mice bones in it and, and fur and stuff. Of course. Um, but this time, I opened it up, it was full of M&Ms. Mm. Whole M&Ms. Point of, point of fact, whole M&Ms? Whole M and M's. The the joke was on mm. me though because they were poison flavored M and M's. So it was, it was uh, the worst kind. <laughs> it was more of, a, more of a prank. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, wow. Yeah. Interesting. So that's, and that's my favorite cryptid. Now is he was this... like E. T. Only in reverse and terrible. Exactly. That's exactly right, Lizzie. Yes. You're exactly correct <laughs> on every point. Now there are other sightings of would we? Oh, certainly many, many, many. many. I could list many... them all. Could you could? Oh, I, I could. Alas, we don't have time. Oh, uh, afraid not. Yeah, you're <laughs> That's right, too bad. Yeah. So I, I think Max just gave ruling on mermaids by saying that Lizzie was right on every point. Yep. Oh, Hold just on. as a, in regards and to he was the And he's the judge. Yeah. Sir, the don't, judge. <laughs> sir you may not speak uh, for the judge. <laughs> I will say that Lizzie, by being right on every point, proved that mermaids are not, in fact, a cryptid because they are real by, 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 Lizzie's, by Lizzie's own admission mm -hmm. she or she she said herself that she did not want mermaids to be considered which leaves Listen, just one option bam mm. interesting mm. interesting interesting they made a movie about the beast of bray road look it's so cute depictions in media Depictions in media are, are, are not factored in here. I'm afraid. Uh, uh, also, Judge, please, I, I am relieved to hear that. For they, the X Files had a depiction of the Jersey Devil, yet it was fucking lame, and it was just a feral child. <laughs> it had nothing to do with the Jersey Devil at all, and is one of the worst episodes of the show ever. Could you rule that this is one of the worst episodes of the X Files uh, ever? Oh, of course. Thank you, Your Honor. If I gain nothing else. Summarily, this, this means much to me. All right. Wait, Good. I changed my favorite cryptid. My favorite cryptid is Santa uh, Claus. This is okay. unprecedented. Oh. Oh. Santa Claus is not a God damn it. Oh, I'm getting it. The... Mm. Santa mm. Claus. Oh, boy. That's compelling. This is a controversial subject. Well, yeah. Yeah. Having, heard, having heard all the arguments and considered them in my brilliant computer brain, I am afraid that the uh, I must... Uh, I, I I wish I could choose them all. <laughs> you you're all so great, but uh, unfortunately, the best cryptid is none of none of them. Uh, it's um, King Cryptid, the Crypt Keeper. Ah. <laughs> oh, nuts! Damn, Damn it. failed again. <laughs> One of these days, King Cryptid. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone really should have seen it coming. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if, you, if we got times, but Andy did give us his uh, explanation of the succubus and why he considers it a cryptid. It's oh. kind of long, though, but if Jacob, uh, if you, as yep. the person who knows him the most, if you want to either read it or pick somebody to read it. Sure, sure, I'll read it. I'll read it. All right. I, I will, uh, you will take the floor, the spotlight, and we'll gain clarification. Right. Early man often explained natural phenomenon by a uh, mythologizing aspects of the natural world. Okay, and just as dragons were used to describe the existence of large fossils, uh, like a mammoth and whale bones, I would dare to suggest that a succubus perhaps describes, uh, whoa, 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 that a succubus per perhaps describes a mutated tribe of proto humans who thrived off of blood. 
Yeah. And of the human. Off, what is that word? A fall? Awful. Off, awful. 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 You pronounce it awful? Okay. Yeah. Awful. It's awful. like all the, the awful. all the juicy it's like parts. Liver and yep. kidneys and all the stuff that they don't sell you at Safeway. Yes, yes. Oh, they sell it. They're just in sausages. Continue. Awful. Perhaps Neanderthals, who, uh, despite their bulky physique, were known to be sexually attractive to Homo sapiens sapiens. <laughs> and perhaps <laughs> whose terrifying eating habits and sexual allure led to a mythos passed down through oral tradition, eventually transforming to the late Latin descriptive form of a demonic sexy vampire lady. <laughs> or aliens. Also, I apologize. So... You know, I would buy it if it was about Incubi, but because it's about Succubi, I'm just going to go with the mm. church hated sexy people. Also a compelling mm, argument. Yes. Also a compelling it's argument. argument. It's cryptids, yeah. but it's <sighs> compelling. Interesting. Interesting. I think we've all learned a lot. Yeah, absolutely. This episode. Uh, we all learned more about we- Weebo? We- Weebo? Would we? <laughs> would we? <laughs> we always would learn we? about Weebo. <laughs> yeah. Would we? Would we? Would the we boo? Is that how it's pronounced? We boo? I don't know what any of you is talking about anymore. Uh, we had uh, you, you brought up we boo. Uh, you brought up a we mispronunciation, do. sir. I think we established that my brain was not working correctly. Uh, uh, go for a counselor. <laughs> Considering I, since the man chose to in in his entire argument talking about a family. <laughs> Yeah, that's the sources yeah. of the Jersey Devil Jersey engine. Jersey Devil, oh, Jersey yeah, bullshit yeah, is what I say. The Leeds Devil. It's an awesome it's story, you guys. Devil. Oh, okay. So, it we spent an hour on this bullshit, you guys. <laughs> this is a oh, mini sode. It's more. Yeah, uh, a little over. We're close, though. Anyway, so we should probably wrap up around here, or else it won't be a mini sode anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, and in that case, what is it? Just what the hell are it's we just, doing with our lives if it's not a mini I would say that if you feel so, like we've talked about a certain cryptid that you could see us spending an entire mini soda on, like a mm-hmm. proper one, maybe 45 minutes, uh, leave us a note, send us an email, put it in the comments of your Venmo payment, and we could, will Venmo happily. at your friends, one word. I, I could talk at length about my other favorite cryptid, Brandon Boyd, the singer from Incubus. <laughs> we may have to do a mini sode. I mean, yeah. his face just looks like a frog. I it's don't mysterious. like it. Yeah. Uh, it's mysterious. Yeah. Mysterious Do here. some or research, Matt. It's, it's, yeah. It is said that amber is the color of his energy. Max, oh. uh, I think we should sort of, we have one more submission. Uh, oh, from, yes. From Tracy Barrow and oh. uh, Nate. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Marathi. Oh. Marathi, thank you. I don't say his name out loud very much. I just call him Nate. Uh, I call her Beetle. It's cool. Well, I'm, yeah, okay. Yes, well, I know how to say Tracy. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> but ah, open file. Open. Curses. Curses you file. You, ah, sorry, technical difficulties. All right, another fo- a follow-up submission from Mr. Edgar Hump to wrap up tonight's broadcast. Um, share screen. All right, here we go. Edgar Hump has a follow up after the reception to his initial video mm. regarding Big Feet. Hi, my name is amateur cryptozoologist and three time Tony Award attendee Edgar Hump. And if you were one of the 92 people who saw my recent truth talk about the great striped European big feet of the Pacific Northwest, then you likely know that I recently lost a class action lawsuit for what the courts call libel and corrupting the elderly and infirm. I am now legally obliged to apologize to the following peoples or parties. Party number one, the Zapruder family. Number two, the Felton Bigfoot Society. Number three, the U.S. Park Rangers. Milwaukee State University, go Milks. Henderson (laughs) Correspondence College, the Loch Ness Monster Society. Ben, 
Max out protein <laughs> supplement. The manager of that one 7-Eleven. My third grade teacher. The National Institute of Health. I've never heard of them. Bobcat Goldthwaite. Who is neither a cat nor is he made of gold. Urban Outfitters. All of them. Diane Fossey. Diane Keaton. The Princess Diana Foundation. The people <laughs> of the great state of Washington. Carolyn Hump, who now uses her maiden name when we're in public. <laughs> My lawyers. To these people, I can only say that I'm sorry that you feel that way. A real mature Ed. <laughs> yeah, Carolyn. <laughs> Sorry to hear you going through tough times, Edgar Hump. Uh, I'm we'll, not. We'll post we'll post uh, a link to that specific video on YouTube, or the initial one, uh, to that channel, so you can check out his further apologies or anything else he may brilliant, post there. Brilliant work. But uh, thank you for that contribution, gentlemen, ladies. We all love cryptids. We all want them to exist. Some do of us know they do. Fact, how we know they do. Our fans. Some of us I want you to exist. We do. Are you your audience? You were our favorite cryptid this whole time. Tell us how you feel. Being our favorite cryptid, does it put an undue amount of pressure on you? What's your back? Is it flattering? Story? Is it creepy? Are you into it? I don't know. Let us what know in the comments. Taxidermy to make a beautiful posthumous sculpture of you let us know any of that mm -hmm. in the comments below until then until then well not until then you can do that now yeah do it but, now uh, i've yeah, seen a lot of requests for simultaneously let's, let's all do it together <laughs> we are your friends <laughs> a lot of requests for a selkie episode by the way what? Not a cryptid. They're like werewolves. I, I would say not a cryptid. Yeah, a, 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 Lizzie, a selkie a is a person turns, that can turn into person. a seal. Yeah. I'm sorry. That can turn person into a what? A seal. A seal. Oh, oh, oh. It's yeah. not. Yes. It, yes. In first language, it is a person living with selkiehood. <laughs> yes. Yes. Living with a con uh, it's a condition. I just want to. I just want to assure uh, Lynette. Uh, Bobcat Goldthwait is is alive and thriving. He's, he he's is doing just fine. Despite exactly. being neither made of gold nor a cat. Exactly. Or named Bob. Also true. Also, hmm. did you guys know he's best friends with Tom Kenny, the voice of SpongeBob SquarePants? <laughs> oh, wow. This is a that's, true fact. They grew up together. Not surprising. Huh. Wow. In the Pine Barrens of New Jersey. And they their father was oh. the, the Jersey New Devil. Devil. Good night, everyone. Good night. I, Good night. I really love this episode of our